have several different painting mediums today. I have liquid watercolor. These are the same as this, but this already has the water added to it. These are watercolors. <clears throat> These are called temper cakes. When you use your paint, you'll have to have your name on the bottom of your artwork. You'll pinch your paintbrush if there's a squishy part with your pointer finger and your thumb and wrap your other fingers around the back. We don't want to get it too close to the bristles. If you hold it back further, you'll get a looser line. And if you hold it up tighter, you'll get a little more controlled line. You can start with a basic sketch of something you want to paint. These paints you can just dip straight into the paint. They already have the water added for you. We want to keep them clean so I need to wash my brush by pushing it on the bottom of the water cup, wiping it on the lip, and drying it on the towel. There's still some blue on my paper towel so I need to wash it a little more, wipe it on the lip, dry it on the towel. We want these paints to be just as clean so we don't want to mix them up. With tempera cakes <clears throat> and watercolors, these paints are sleeping if they're dry so we just add a little dot of water to the color that we want to use. You'll swirl your bristles in gently, loading your bristles up with pigment and then you can paint on your composition. If it starts getting kind of scratchy, that means you need more water and more paint. There. When you're ready to switch colors, make sure you wash your brush really good, wipe it, dry it. If you ever get a little bit of paint in one of the other colors, just take a damp paper towel and wipe up your paint so it's clean for the next artist who uses it. You can try different techniques like putting water down first, laying water on your paper, and then dabbing your paint. See how it's kind of bleeding into the water? That's called a graded wash. Wash your brush really well. You can layer color over top blending to make new colors. That's called color on color. You can do a technique called dry brush. <clears throat> you just take your dry kind of dry bristles into some paint and you can kind of lightly flick it up. It's called dry brush. You could do blotting where you take your paper towel and lift off areas of paint. You could also take what's damp and reprint it somewhere else on your composition. <clears throat>